Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing or like recreating a look I saw on Pinterest. I'm obsessed with Pinterest. Um, but yeah, I saw this picture and I knew that I could definitely recreate it with my Naked Basics and I haven't done a tutorial using that yet. And yeah, so I want to try and I think it'd be fun. But it's just this like, I don't know if it's going to really show, but it's just like a pinup matte eye with like red lips with like a golden sheen and I'm gonna try to recreate this so let's see how it goes so she has like absolutely flawless skin and I'm sure it's airbrushed and whatnot but I'm going to use foundation to make my skin perfect so I'm just going in with Lana Kane anti-chafing gel always And then I'm going to dot this all over my face and then blend it out with a e.l.f. This kind of looks like a pinup look, like something you'd see on a Marilyn Monroe picture. Um, that's why I like it because I'm like obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. And speaking... Oh, Speaking of that, I think I'm going to do the, like, 25, whoa, shaking the whole place, like the 25 facts about me or whatever that tag is, but yeah. So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. flat top brush, and this time I'm just using water. Last time I used um, a setting spray, but it works just as good, and you're not wasting setting spray. And then I have a couple, um, freckles right here that can be covered up with concealer, but I'm just going to use foundation just to make sure, and then we'll put foundation on top of that. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in Light. I couldn't think of it, even though it's the same line. And just dot a few dots under my eyes. And this is really going to bring lightness to our face. And I'm just going to use a... Oh, I used... Ooh. I'm just going to use my fingers, I guess, because my brush is dirty. I used it with a dark brown eyeshadow, so I don't think I'm going to be using that under my eye. Okay, so to set my under eyes, I'm just using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's a really light powder with a tiny bit of shimmer, which gives the under eyes a really nice glow. And it makes it reflect light. So I have been obsessing over this. And then to set my foundation, because I don't want that um, like sheen all over my face, I'm just going to be using a big powder brush and Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'm just going to dot it just so we don't move our foundation. And then she doesn't have any blush on and she just has a tiny bit of bronzer and I like bronzer anyways just to shape the face. So I'm using this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder like always and I'm using a MAC 150 brush and it just deposits the most perfect amount and blends it away. And then 
of course do our eyebrows I don't think I can go without doing my eyebrows just because they're so makes sense so I just did my brows easy and then on to the eyeshadow so I normally use MAC Painterly but I wanted to try something new this is the benefit stay don't stray it's just a little baby sample that I got in like a uh, gift set for Christmas so I just want to see how this does compared to like the cream since it's like a I mean I guess this would be a cream but you know what I mean it seems to be covering really nicely that's what I um love MAC Painterly for is because it covers my dark lids so now I'm just going in with my Naked Basics palette and on a fluffy brush I'm just taking the color Naked 2 and I'm just buffing this into my crease just to start the transition color for the dark brown I should probably zoom you in a little bit so I'm just making it a nice transition and then on my, or the next color I'm taking is faint. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> and just on, I was going to use that brush, but I'm going to use something different. I'm going to use the E25 blending just to get a more precise color application. Okay, so my battery died and I had to... <laughs> put it on the charger thank god it's right next to me so now we're just going back in with that blending brush and just blending away we may have to go in and add more um, depending on what the black liner looks like on so now I'm just taking a um, a shader brush and the colors Venus and Walk of Shame and I'm mixing the two and it makes like a perfect shade for the lid. Not too matte but not too shimmery and it's exactly what is on her lid. And then I'm going to go with the tip of this and going in the color faint I'm going underneath the lower lash line just on the outer like third. And then I'm just using Venus on my inner corners just to brighten it up. And then I'm using Foxy under my brow. Using NYX liner, uh, scandalized liner in nude. Put that on the lower lash line. So now I'm going in with um, Wet n Wild's Mega Liner in black. And I'm just going to do a really, really small wing because that's what she has. Just like that. Simple little tiny wing. I'm getting so much better at my wings. It's so exciting. I used to be horrible. And then just to ensure that the wing stays all day, I'm going back in with my Naked Basics and going into Crave and just stamping this on top of the wing just to make it last and make sure it has like really darkness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. So she has gold on her inner corner on the lower lash line. And instead of using um, gold eyeshadow, I figured it would be fun to use this glitter liner from Urban Decay on the lower lash line just to give it like a pop. Just gives it a little bit of sparkle without being too much.
And then, of course, mascara time. I'm going in with my lash curler from e.l.f. And my mascara combination, which has been L'Oreal Telescopic first, and then Benefit They're Real, and then lastly, Maybelline The Rocket. And this has been an amazing combination for my lashes. It just makes them look huge. So, start with a nice little coat of... Um, L'Oreal Telescope. So once I have that, I'm going to go in with Benefits, They're Real. And then lastly, Maybelline's The Rocket. And then I'm just going to put some of that on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back in with Faint. Wow, I just spit. And I'm going to use this brush. It's normally what I use to put concealer on. But any small fluffy brush will do. Right there. And then for the lips, I'm going to use this red lipstick from Wet n Wild in 911. And then to really define my lips, I'm going to use this lip liner from Wet n Wild in the color Fab Fuchsia. And it's not a red, obviously, it's fuchsia, but it will do. And then for the golden sheen that she has, this is totally optional. You don't need to go out and buy this just for this, like, for what I'm doing. But I had it and I just want to try it. And it's Benefit Sunbeam. Again, it's a little baby size from, it was like a, the sexy stowaways thing. Uh oh, my hair. The Sexy Stillways like gift set. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use my finger to make the gold look. This is actually a really pretty combination. The gold and the red. And it ties along great with the gold liner I used. Lipstick on my teeth. Great. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, Pinterest inspires me so much. I have so many eye looks that I want to try out, but I just need um, like a colorful palette. So let me know your favorite like colorful palettes from either like BH Cosmetics or Coastal Scents. I know they look the same thing, but yeah. So here, let me just zoom you in. Here are the eyes. And then here are the lips with a little bit of that gold sheen. Um, talk about pretty. I love the way this turned out. Let me know if you guys think that this looks... It's not going to focus on that. So there's that. And then there's mine. Did I do good? Um, like this video if you want me to do like more Pinterest-inspired... Um, tutorials. Oh, my hair is a mess. And also let me know what your favorite colorful, colorful um, eyeshadow palette is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.